we'll guide you through how to stream on kick. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go to kick. And we go to the top right and we press sign up. Or if you already have an account on kick, then you can go and log in instead. And now we are successfully loaded into our kick account. So we need to go to our channel and check it out as you can see there's nothing there then we move over to our creator dashboard uh, we have uh, stuff to edit here like uh, our stream info uh, we can see our chat here uh, the mod actions the activity feed the viewers followers time live and everything and now we want to go back to channel let me go back in the top and go into settings now here you can edit your banner image, your avatar, your offline banner. Uh, you can change your username, but you will need to wait 60 days to change it again. You can add your bio and your social medias. What we need for our stream to be successful, we need to go into stream key. And this is a key that we need to use uh, to add to our uh, application for streaming so that we can stream successfully first off what you need to do is open a new tab and download an application for streaming that's slobs or streamlabs obs this is the best one for beginners because it's really simple to navigate and you can uh, input a lot of a lot more stuff than you can in obs obs is much harder when you get here, you just open this up, the first link that you see, and you press download Streamlabs desktop. It will download and you can just install it. It's really simple. I've already done it. There's no hard things in the installation process. So now we minimize our uh, browser. And now we have at the Streamlabs desktop application on my desktop. We double click and open it up it needs a bit for it to load as you can see it's starting up uh, you can set hotkeys you can multi-stream and now how do you plan to use streamlabs desktop i we want to use it for live streaming we select it and we press continue for example you need to choose whichever platform but i'll skip for now there's something for people who people who have used obs they can import their settings but you don't have to you can start fresh so i will start fresh myself uh, you can skip this for now uh, if you want to add a team you can add a theme but i want to skip this for now as well then you, you choose the starter version and now we are here so First off, to be able to stream to your uh, kick profile, you need to go into your settings at the bottom left. Open this up and then go into and find uh, where you need to input your uh, streaming key. So here we are, uh, stream, we, play, we press stream. On stream type, you go and select it and you select custom streaming server. When you open this up, you return to your kick uh, website uh, the stream key and you copy the stream URL by pressing this right here then you go into OBS and you paste it then you take the stream key as well you copy it and you paste it down here and you just press done as you can see now we are successfully connected and I can just press go live but first off we need to add some scenes so well you need to press add a scene and call it, for example, screen one. After we have done this, we need to add a source. We add, uh, we click on sources, we add, and we want to add, uh, for example, display capture. This uh, uh, displays everything that we see on our screen. So we select it and we press add source. We can call it anything we want and add source, uh, done. And as you can see, my screen just showed up. Here you can play around with your microphone, your desktop audio, and that is it. When you set up everything, your sources, your scenes, you just press go live. That is it. Thank you for watching.